Hey there guys, my name is Wade from Channel. Welcome back to my very first reaction. What I want to do is I'm going to react to my first video. Oh, well, not, not my first video, my one of my first um, Hornby reviews. Sorry, I meant to say Apple Green, Let's get it over with. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I made loads of mistakes here, but that, that's just how I am. I tend to stutter, tend to make mistakes and words, but then again, we all do. As you can see here, this is uh, Cock of the North, a uh, Mikado 282 locomotive, P2. Oh, there's a P2. Yeah, there it is. That's what a P2 looks like. Does it have sprung buffers? No, because it's a railroad model. I can't remember if there is railroad models with sprung buffers. I don't think there are that many if there are. Oh, they, those are very important. You must keep an eye on the instructions at all times. Uh, that, that's that right there, that picture right there is just basically what you get with the run of the mill sets or, or locomotives. And that's how you get to the inner workings, what, it, what they all look like. I can't remember if it's still there. Uh, that, you can tell that's a railroad model because it has the prototypical railroad LNER style numbering, lettering. If you were to turn to the railways model, then you would see something completely different, more detail and all. I wouldn't choose the railways model over the railroad model, no way, because I'm happy with this one. I mean, uh, that actually looks fantastic. No matter if there is lack of detail on it. It runs well, it, it's just what you want. I think I said that the name Cock of the North was a Scottish clan. Well, I was wrong, I think it was a Yorkshire clan. I don't blame it because it was built at Doncaster. Doncaster is in Yorkshire. Though I can't remember if it was at that time. Yeah, even for a railroad model, it was quite detailed. However, the most detailed model I've ever seen is uh, the Great Western Railway's Adderley Hall model, which was reviewed on Sam's Trains and no doubt many, 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 many other YouTubers. Yeah, I'm just saying that I do not, um, I do not put the front coupling on. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not stopping you. There's the name, Cock of the North. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend you laughing at it because that was actually a real thing. Yeah. Now, I was saying about the wheel conversion earlier on. This has two wheels at the front. Two wheels at the front. Eight driving wheels. Eight driving wheels. And two wheels at the Two wheels, front. two flangeless wheels to help it go around corners. Uh, the flangeless wheels do not move, they do not pivot. And there is no cab detail. Well, there is. It's just not painted. Uh, I think we do, but it's not shown, not coloured in. You, you can definitely tell my voice is slightly uh, different. About two years younger. Agile parts, running parts. Let's look underneath. Can't remember if I've recalled or not. Uh, this was after I came back yeah, from, the, I don't remember whether I recorded this bad. straight it's after I went, came back from Doncaster Racecourse, that's where I got it from. I got that and the J50 from the Doncaster Racecourse. Like yeah, it's also got, it, it doesn't have a connection pin, um, electric connection pin, you know, that you plug in to make it perform even better or to have the ECC sound. However, you can do that. You can have the for conversion. Railway, yeah, sorry, for railroad models, this is actually, it's actually decent. I mean, it doesn't look I as decent to me now as what it once was. Um, it might be, but I won't try it. I can't remember what I said there. <laughs> oh yeah, remove it. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to remove, remove the coal. Remove that one. Um, again, no spawn buffers at the back. Uh, this model has uh, one, two, three, four, eight wheels. Um, it's hard um, to imagine this was actually converted into the A2 slash 2 Pacifics which I don't know if the video I'm going to talk about it is going to be there before or after no I'm not going to remove it I'm not even going to connect the tender but I mean that just right there is just a pride of joy ignore the boxes in the background that is a pride of joy on my layout, I've got the typical um, third radius curves, I think the third radius, second radius, I don't know, but this runs quite well on it. I will show a video of it running at some point. 
Even for a railroad model, I mean, if you... I don't know how many times I've said a, that. Uh, Even for a railroad model. A railways model, there's a bit of detail here, which is orangey, it's more detailed. I don't have a I think that would be the pipework, and I don't like know if there was a Westinghouse air brake on there. But, uh, yeah, other details I should go over. Um, this has a double chimney. Yeah, yeah, oh, it does have a double chimney. I was trying to, th I was trying to think now. Hard should, but it does. Two safety valves. Two safety valves. Covered there. Water tank. Now, this, this, there. this raises a few questions. I'm pretty sure everyone there. else has raised questions about this. Hornby have only made this model of the P2, oh, uh, the yeah, 2001. They have missed out one of the other six, while the uh, recent Hornby model of the A2 slash 2 has done it just right. They've done Cock of the North, or they're doing Cock of the North, so, and they're yeah. doing Thane of Fife. Um, yeah, do Thane of Fife. This, one, they could have done as Earl Marish, Marish or Marical, however it's pronounced, or Mond yeah, Meg, so or Thane of Fife, or Wolf of, Wolf of, I can't remember what his name is, Bang, I don't know. My point is they could have done the other ones. Perhaps they will do later on. Perhaps my modeling skills can come into its own. And perhaps I can purchase another P2 and just revamp it to say 2003 or something. Or maybe 2004. He shouldn't have altered them. However, my opinions on Edward Thompson here have changed. Grizzly. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> what a noob! I can't believe uh, I've forgotten 19, the famous man's name, Sir Nigel Grizzly. Keeping an army dinner as well. No, he did not, because now, Gresley had no idea what was coming. He he was aware about the changes to the Bugatti style boiler, you know, this type. However, he did not expect Thompson to A, take charge, B, revamp them all together. Yeah, that bit was right. Uh, I was saying about Edward Thompson. My opinions on him have changed. I'm falling in love with his locomotives now. Yes, I know, a grizzly man. Yeah, whatever, yeah. But, um, but it is true. I think as these things grow and grow and grow, your opinions, your opinions change. Because these things will not click out your mind. They'll just stick in there. And uh, if you... And if you are so stuck with I something, you've got to make the best of it. And I keep really thinking, well, oh, these things just don't belong. I'm just, but I'm just my opinions have gone. differed. They've changed. I really and there and there you go. Really Before you know it, I've accepted both the A2 slash 2 and the slash 3s. Hell, I've even accepted the A1 slash 1. You know, the one that Thompson redesigned from uh, Great Northern. I'm not sure but also... <coughs> If we just go over the uh, the parts really quick, the ones, two, three, and fours. I'll just I think I still have the parts so in that back compartment. You are to use little bits of oil on the highlighted bits. It looks like. Yeah, um, I have done that ever since, but that was like so two years later when I've actually got the oil. Pack contains accessories. You can put your accessories on. Number three is assembly. Um, if your product includes electrical connections between the locomotive and tender to remove the electric plug. Wait, does mine? Uh, no, I don't think mine so. didn't have it, although, as I said, I think you can do it with the, uh, I didn't talk about this, with the sound chip or the DCC decoder, 8-pin. All models apart from the P2, uh, sorry, the, yeah, P, uh, B2s or W4 pickets. And apart from the 48 DRS shunters or, um, Rust and Hornsby shunters. You will need to do this if you want to service it. And that includes the tender. Oh, tired. Number six is sound and DCC. If, if your locomotive is not prefitted with a decoder, see figure 12. Which 
At one point, I may do it. My own tutorial about how to DCC fit your locomotives, even though everyone else is doing it, I may as well jump on the bandwagon, haven't I? For location of DCC socket, see figure. But what do you what do you think of this absolute charm? Has anyone converted these yet? Oh, here we go. Moved. So that's where you put the chip, and that's where you put the sound. Yeah, it is. However, I I do not see where the cable is. Brilliant on the P2 pass. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, yes. I recommend you get it. I do. I still pounds. recommend you get it. I believe they're up to the £100, £99 range, I don't know. But anyway, guys, that that's the end of the video. See you guys. Oh, that was not bad for my first reaction. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I shall see you guys later. If you do like this sort of content, let me know. Uh, I might also ask if I can react to something, I don't know, if they'll let me. And I'll just carry on with this content. Thank you very much, and see you later.